Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is very introductory statistics course for beginners. T-test 6, various type of T-test. In last class, we learned about the T-test. As I said, the purpose of a T-test is to compare the homogeneity of the two groups. However, that is just one type of T-test. In this class, we will learn about the various type of t-test. First, two sample t-test. As you can see here, we have two tests. This was the same as we uh, learned in prior classes. As you can see here, we have uh, two samples of uh, college A and college B. And we want to know these two colleges male students' height are same or not. In this case, the statistical hypothesis is like this. XA var and XB var equals or not equal. And this can be changed like this. Large or not. Okay. And here the DA minus B means the difference between these two means. Okay. This is the first type of t-test, two sample t-test, it is very representative type of t-test. And second, one sample t-test. In here, we just have uh, one sample, for example, college access uh, mean uh, height of a male student. And uh, we just want to know this college student's average height is the same as uh, 180 or not. Okay, so here we just change it here, the number zero. Okay, because we just move this mu into left side. Here, uh, the reason I use the mu is usually uh, we just want to know, okay, uh, from the national um, uh, investigation, uh, we just know the average all male college students height is 180. So we just know, want to know uh, this college's male student's height is same as this number. Okay. So here it is the same, just large to uh, larger than zero or less than zero. Okay. This is the second type of t test, one sample t test. The third one is a paired t test. The paired means we just uh, have a same sample but it is uh, tested before and after. For example, uh, we just want to know the validity of a new teaching method like this. So before uh, using this new teaching method, we just uh, take an exam for our students that is a before score, okay? And then after applying, applying this new teaching method, we re, uh, take an exam for students that is after school. So we just know, uh, we just want to know the difference between before and after school. Okay. Uh, so here, the statistical hypothesis is before, x before bar. This is a before uh, score. And x after bar is after school. We just know same or not. So it is changed like this, same thing. Uh, this is very uh, similar with the two sample t-test. However, it is paired. It means that the students or the subject are same and they are uh, examined two, two times, okay, before and after. So here, let's check the uh, calculation of the t-value for two sample t-test. We know this t-test, okay? So here, the t value is like this. The numerator is a difference between the two uh, means, okay, two group means. And the standard deviation looks uh, very difficult, but the uh, here s square is uh, calculated as uh, uh, this equation, okay. And the degree of freedom is uh, just the sum up of the two groups and minus two, okay. And next, for the second type of t-test, one sample t-test, we have a very simple 
uh, calculation equation for t value here this is the uh, difference okay but here maybe this one is a 180 okay so this difference is same zero or not and uh, uh, the numerator is standard deviation divided by root n and the degree of freedom is n minus one okay finally the paired t-test is very similar with the two sample t-test like this okay here the difference between uh, before and after uh, average score and then the denominator is uh, standard deviation divided by root n okay here we have the two sample but it is not exactly the two sample because we have the same subject so the question is uh, do we have to memorize these equations no i don't think so um, if you are to memorize the equations, I think it is not a good idea. Um, I think uh, um, simply finding answer is a bad starting point. But sometimes in exam, uh, we should uh, find the answer, T value. Um, of course, if you are um, students in uh, statistics, if you, your major is uh, st statistics, um, I'm not sure. Sometimes uh, you need to memorize these equations. However, in most cases, I think it is useless. Uh, in exam, in my cases, um, most professors just admit a one-page cheat sheet. So you just write down these equations for exam. I think uh, before memorizing these equations, the most important thing is to understand the equations. So please leave the calculation to the computer or um, your kind of some software. Okay, I will stop here. T-test 6, various time of T-test. Mm -hmm.